We have some more information regarding the English 151 reprint, and we actually have a photo this time, and we're going to talk about um, what this could potentially mean. Now, this comes from a user on the Poke Investing Reddit. You can see right here. Um, now, this is what they said that they were they snagged this case of 151 mini tins uh, from an LGS, and they noticed on the case that it says uh, not for retail sale before October 6th, 2024. Which, but they said they got it a few months ago, so that's kind of interesting. Anyways, uh, this got the the topic started on uh, the reprint again, and um, we're gonna get into this real quick. I'm gonna touch on this in a second. Um, I, I did a tiny little bit of digging, but um, I just wanted to talk about a few things that some other people are saying uh, on here. Um, they are saying. Uh, we got a user right here saying that they confirmed it through their local shop last week uh, with the new promo box coming in 2025 with a new promo card and, and booster packs. Um, so once again, I don't have access to a distributor or anything like that. So that's why I, I cannot confirm these um, through myself because I just don't have access to stuff like that. Um, but this is what is being said. I also want to bring up that this is how the Japanese 151 uh, reprint started with rumors and speculation on Reddit. And then before we knew it, it was confirmed, right? So, um, just keep that in mind. Now, there was something that was interesting if we scroll down, um, a little bit more. So this is, this is from a user, um, in Europe. They said, I don't know why people are still speculating. In Europe, the reprint is confirmed for about two months now. You could pre-order booster bundles and mini tin displays in multiple shops for release in Q4. So, um, whether it's a reprint or a restock, um, you know, it, it doesn't, um, it, it doesn't particularly matter although a reprint would probably be much bigger but uh it's hopefully still going to have the same effect but this does uh lead to like some additional questioning from me um but i wanted to touch on this mini tin display because uh, i do find that interesting so if you hop here on ebay um you can see right here not for retail sale before october 6th 2023 now, I found that very interesting. You'll also notice that this number right here, this uh, PO number, the T, T uh, what is it, the Pokemon Center International, TPCI, I'm just assuming, uh, PO022940. Then here's another listing right here on eBay uh, for the same thing. You got the same uh, PO number, 022940, and with the same thing saying, uh, not for retail sale before October 6th, 2023. Right, so um, if you look on this this box that this guy's saying the PO number is different, um, the PO ooh, the PO number is different, and obviously it has 2024. Then uh, this was the only other one I was able to find on eBay. There's not a lot of these um, tin displays for sale currently, but if we zoom in on this one, um, we got that same different PO number and October. 2024. So, um, I've, that's interesting. It's very interesting. Um, I don't know what exactly that means as far as, uh, I don't know why, uh, why they would have, um, repackaged these. So if this was a, um, if this was a restock, you know, uh, which is something that they do all the time. They have a lot of stock that they have sitting in warehouses or wherever. And then they, you know, they sit on it and they can give it to their distributors and they have their whole pipeline of how they get it out. Right. So, um, but the part that is interesting to me is why would they, um, put it in a new box? Right. So I, I the way that I'm envisioning this is that these are already palletized on pallets. Why would it be, um, if they make mini tin, mini tin displays, you know, they have the thing, they shrink wrap it, and then it goes in a box. Um, that box, if in theory, 
should say, uh, from October, um, 2023, because unless it was reprinted, right? Um, I mean, we don't know how it works. We don't know, um, what the Pokemon company does, but because of that, because of this box right here, um, this just makes me wonder, like, have they already done the reprint? And then this restocking is just them rolling it out. I mean, I don't think currently we have any way to know, but I just like say they say it was from the first reprint or the first print, the initial print, right? Which is where we got all these from. Um, and they ship them out like this. Like what? Why would they take them out of these boxes and put them in new boxes? Or you know what I mean? Like. I'm just saying, it seems like it, they're already ready for it, possibly, or, or I don't know, or or something. I, it's just interesting to uh, to bring up. So this is just some more information on the reprint. It does seem uh, a little cloudy, if I'm being honest about the information, but that's kind of what happens. Hopefully, we'll get some more solid information. Either way. Um, restock or reprint however you want to slice it more 151 product coming onto the market can be good depending on where you're at if you're sitting on a ton of sealed product then you don't want any more coming out um, you know which as a sealed investor I totally understand that but I don't have a lot of uh, sealed 151 stuff and I would love to open some more so I am all for it I can't wait um, you know reprint or or what whatever you want to call it um i think that this is great news and i just wanted to share um you know share some information that has that has come out um take it for what you will um i knew that uh that this kind of thing would happen and there's been lots of people saying it's like especially i've seen other reddit posts to people talking about in other countries saying that um you know that they've just been waiting for the reprint to come and they've already put in their pre-orders with their LGSs and stuff. I've seen that before. So it is very interesting to see kind of how this is shaking out. But um, also last thing I just wanted to touch on is even if, if you are um, hesitant about the validity of this reprint or restock, whatever you want to call it, I think it would be very um, naive of you to think that 151 English was not going to get a reprint. Um, and even if it doesn't come till October, um, we're really not that far away, but if, you know, if it doesn't come till then, um, that's totally fine. But the set is too popular. It's too big. We saw what they did with Japanese. Like it's going to get a reprint, right? Even if it doesn't happen right now, it's, it's only a matter of time. Um, yeah, just don't be naive about that. Uh, look at the history of what happened. Like I said, in the last video, we looked at Crown Zenith, what it's done with its reprint. Um, this 151 brought so many people um, into the hobby, back into the hobby. Um, I see it all the time everywhere. People are master setting it. Is this going to be the most master setted set of all time? Potentially. Right now, it's still affordable. And if it becomes even more affordable... I mean, um, let me know in the comments, like, how many of you guys haven't finished your master set? I haven't. I haven't finished mine yet. I'm I'm going to. It's on my list, and I'm actively working on it, but um, it is also kind of one of those sets, too, where I, um, for me, I want to pull as many of those cards as I can. I don't want to just buy, buy the set. Um, I've bought a few cards here and there, but um, I've pulled most of what I have I've pulled, and I want to kind of keep it that way. And, you know, I want to get close to the end and then, you know, buy, buy the few that I need kind of thing. So this is what this uh, restock, reprint, whatever you want to call it, whatever it's going to end up being, uh, is very beneficial for collectors, right? So investors are going to be able to scoop up sealed product as well. But, uh, you know, this is, a, this is a strong set. So let me know what you guys think um, on this uh, reprint restock news. Um, I, let me know what your stance is. Uh, I can understand why people uh, might be uh, a little suspect of some Reddit news, but, um, 
you know, uh, like I said, I can't confirm it because I don't have ac- access to distributors. But um, if anybody has any information about that, the dates being different um, between 2023 and 2024, let me know in the comments. I would be very interested um, to see what exactly that means. So, um, but yeah, just wanted to share that with you guys so you guys can uh, be up to date on the latest uh, 151 news. I'll catch you guys in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase.